What up, everybody? You know what time it is? Cherries and berries, baby. Let me get, let me get in a better spot, guys. There we go, guys. There we go, much better spot. So me and my wife was at the farmer's market uh, uh, Sunday, I think it was, Saturday, and uh, I ran into an off-duty cop guy that's a tyrant. He's one of the tyrant little, he's one of the little short tyrants that's on the uh, force. He kept staring me down. I guess he was waiting for me to start recording him, but you know, I'm not going to record him when he's with his family. He ain't on duty. I don't care what he does when he's not on duty. But he kept giving me the dirty looks. You know what I mean? He's one of the guys that's always... He's one of the guys that always says something to me when um, he sees me recording. He's always... He's one of them directive guys. He's always got to give directives. This cop right here's got a lot to say to this person. Probably trying to get him to uh, let him search.
Yep, shit. Sorry, guys. Not the damn phone. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. Uh, yeah, it's still going. Right there he is. Oh, right there he is. Right there he is, in the mirror. Hmm. Beware objects and tyrants and mirror are closer than they appear. I don't think he realizes it was me. He kept trying to stare at me. Look, here he Look, watch him. Look, guys, he's, he's on me. He thinks, he thinks he's gonna fuck with me, watch. <laughs> I used like, he drove by and was like, News now? Hell, hell no. Oh, shit. He didn't know who I was at first, y'all. He was trying to scope me out and see who the hell it was. I'm pretty sure he didn't know who I was. Pretty fucking sure. Because <laughs> he kept kind of eye, trying to eyeball me, and then he saw the camera, I guess. He saw the fucking phone filming him. Look at this lady. She's crazy, guys. She's fucking crazy. She's one of the crazies in America. <laughs> in our town. Yeah, he's like, it's now Ohio. Drove by. <laughs> Dude, that sucks. They all know me, guys. You know what I mean? It's like, they all know me. They don't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So... I mean, there's a few on the force that will fuck with me because they don't like me. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, they don't like me. I mean, they don't fuck with me. Look, guys, I'm, I, I, I will give my, I will give the police force in our town props. They've gotten, a, they've gotten, they've done a complete 180, guys. 
when I was younger, when I was growing up, dude, guys, they called this town, our nickname is Little Chicago, y'all. Our police force was just as corrupt as them. I mean, they call it Little Chicago because all the gangsters from Chicago and New York used to come here and hide out because every cop was on the payroll. Every cop in this town was on the payroll back in the 20s and 30s. You know what I'm saying? And the corruption just went uphill from there, guys. I mean, when I was... From the time I was 15 to the time I got back from the military all the way up to God, probably... I don't even know, guys. I don't even know when... You know, probably around 2009, 10-ish. Around 2010 or about 2012, I'd say. The tyrants. Flat, straight out tyrants. And I don't know what cleaned it up, but it, it got cleaned up, man. All them, oh, I mean, I can't say it really got 100% cleaned up. It's obviously, it's not. But, dude, let me tell you, it's way better than it was, guys. I mean, it's sad that a lot of the the guys that were tyrants back when I was during that time are now detectives uh, the police chief you know what I mean people like that so I mean that part sucks but your average patrol officer out here it's all the young, younger generation they're all newer and for the most part they're all pretty good you know what I mean there's a few cocky pricks in the bunch you know I, you guys have seen them um but the majority of them are good, you know. Um, they do still have their little quirks where, you know, they'll stop a person and try to ID them without, without calls and things like that, you know, uh, where they need to learn that they can't do that, you know. They just try to do it because they think they can get away with it, you know what I mean? And, and they will do it if they can get away with it. I mean, it's pretty much the same everywhere. Uh, but if they know, but now that they know I'm out here and I'm out and about recording and shit, it's, it's a lot, they're a lot more, what can I say, cautious. You'll see them out here looking around when they call people over to see if I'm around. I mean, I've seen it. Me and my wife, me, me and my wife seen it. I mean, with our own eyes. So, yeah, but, but you know, it is what it is, y'all. Um. I, I, you know, I have to give it props where props is due. It's gotten way better. And so, anyways, y'all, I'm going to get off here, y'all. Um, I'm going in, chilling for the night. Y'all be cool. I'm just news now. How's out?